We've actually got a ESOP plan uh, which we started in 2008 and uh, we've uh, given it out to almost half of our employees already. We actually extend ESOPs out to any employee whom we feel has already proven his contribution to the company and typically it's between a 6 to 12 month period post joining. Uh, and uh, what we've seen in the past is that the more senior uh, and the more uh, experienced uh, you know, people are actually able to get a hang of how ESOPs work uh, and because in India there's something new. Uh, most people uh, have trouble understanding you know, how ESOPs work and uh, the fact that you know, it's, a f it's a reward which is far out into the future and it's linked to the prospects of the company and that they are involved in making sure those prospects are brighter. Uh, but what we've seen is uh, as people mature and uh, as people have spent time in the organization, they understand the value. And uh, in the past, you know, a uh, uh, few people have also been able to, uh, you know, monetize them. And uh, I think it's a, it's a necessary uh, incentivization for any employee which the company sees a long-term uh, benefit of being associated with and uh, whom they feel can uh, add a lot more value incrementally, exponentially going forward, right? So uh, I think the easiest way to do this is just to uh, have a very simple criteria in terms of experience and uh, in terms of how much value it, uh, the person can add to the organization and just based on those two things uh, decide you know how much ESOPs they should be given. Uh, what we've also done in the past is that if we ever felt that uh, the person deserves more, we've gone ahead and you know uh, given them more over time. Uh, and I think it's a important practice for all startups.